uh, get the agreement with WADA about the, uh, uh, the, the role and the, the, the details of the independent commission that will look at the doping problems of the past uh, and help us to learn some lessons for the, for the future. Uh, Establishing the um, anti-doping activities of the UCI as fully independent is a part of that. Uh, restoring the trust and uh, uh, credibility to that whole process is part of that. Well, I think it will be difficult to move on without having a, a fuller understanding of, uh, of what went on. I think I think we have got a pretty full understanding. Uh, I think. What, what's really important is that we learn the truth of any allegations about what the UCI did or didn't do in that era uh, and learn, learn lessons from that and, uh, and make sure that we don't repeat those, those errors in the future. I haven't spoken uh, to Lance Armstrong uh, uh, at all and uh, I think the, uh, uh, the door is open for anyone who wants to come forward to, uh, to tell the truth uh, about what they were involved with. Uh, I think we've all seen that Lance Armstrong has told some of the truth. I think there are lots more things coming out, even in recent last few days. Uh, there have been more uh, revelations and, uh, uh, and allegations, and I'd really like to um, just put an end to the drip, 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 and to have a, a constant, uh, 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 completed uh, conclusion to that process. And if we can assist that with this commission, uh, then I'm sure we would welcome anyone, uh, whether it be uh, Lance Armstrong, Johan Brunil, or anybody else.